While Twitter sold its developer platform to Google, you might have missed the U.S. Army's hoverbikes actually flying and how we'll all burn in fire. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, also known as the place we chronicle our demise because it's official. 2016 was the hottest year ever recorded. If the heat map wasn't enough for you, how about every year stacked up based on temp? Nope, that's somehow worse. Here's a good way to get cooled down, speeder bikes. Hey, wait! Because soon, the Galactic Empire will have some competition. The US Army spent the past few years developing hoverbikes based on a design from Australian inventor Chris Malloy. His initial prototype relied on a four-stroke engine driving a pair of turbines that generated 650 pounds of upward thrust. The Army's version will be a bit bigger thanks to a new hybrid power system. It's expected to carry more than 800 pounds of cargo with a range of more than 125 miles. The Army just proved the concept isn't complete science fiction with this untethered hoverbike flight test. These bikes, technically known as Joint Tactical Aerial Resupply Vehicles, could eventually be used to quickly ferry supplies to soldiers on the front lines. Just watch out for the trees. And also the fact that these are the sorts of things that are usually weaponized, like how plain old drones in Iraq are being modded out to drop grenades. Oh lord. And finally, maybe you'd like to accept the fact that it doesn't matter anyhow, because the sun has a sunspot twice as big as Earth. And that is why astronauts like to say borders are not visible from space, so maybe we should all simmer down. I guess we're all in it together.